Hey, Sonia Rankin here, and I just wanted to share a tip for today. If you are a real estate agent and you're new to the business and you're receiving a text message that asks, hey, are you a real estate agent in your city, a city or town that you're obviously a real estate agent in? Um, nine times out of 10, it's a scammer. They'll ask, are you a real estate agent in X town? All of your information on the internet and your advertisement talks about your brokerage and specifically where you're at. So a person is more likely to ask about a specific property if it's a real uh, prospect, a real lead coming in. So first thing a scammer will do is ask if you are a, a real estate agent in Niceville, Florida, like for me. And uh, you know, I always respond with yes, just to give it the benefit of the doubt and know that we have forewarn, or most of us do have forewarn, or so you can use Spokio to kind of reverse search that number and find out if there's a real name attached to it. First red flag is if nothing comes up, red flag number one, it's some sort of fake number. Um, as you're talking, a scammer will always try to get you to go to perhaps Skype, but they don't, they're gonna act like Skype doesn't work. They really wanna get you on WhatsApp. So keep in mind that don't don't derail a normal person who reaches out to you and wants to talk or text. That's the preferred method of com communication and they're not at work or this is my work number or this is my friend's phone and nobody was gonna use a friend's phone to talk about a real estate transaction. Oh, oh guess what? I guess I need to transfer over to another phone line because we wanna keep this going. It's always because they want it to be undocumented and to be less traceable. So they'll try to get you over to WhatsApp. So don't fall for it. And, uh, you know, maybe one in a thousand might be the real thing, but treat everybody with courtesy and just watch out for the scammers that ask obvious questions and then try to get you over to WhatsApp.